Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an automation specialist with es and &E, and in this video segment we will cover new project creation and configuration inside Studio 5000 View Designer. We will also go over screen creation and navigation options. Let's start by opening Studio 5000 and going through the three primary steps to creating a new project. First, you need to make sure that you are selecting a view project. Studio 5000 has the ability to create logics, factory talk view ME, and view projects. Second, you need to select the proper hardware that you are using. Third and last is to choose the firmware version from the drop down menu. We're going to name our project test and we'll move it to the desktop and then click finish. Once the project finishes creating, it will open up to the configuration screen in which you need to configure the PLC name, path, and file. The PLC file is required because that is how the software gets your tag database. We will name our PLC, PLC, then select the ellipses to browse for the saved ACD PLC file. Next, we will add the path for the project as well as the emulator by selecting the ellipses and browsing for our hardware. If you do not have the PLC on the same network, you can manually add the IP address and slot as needed, but for the emulator, you need to have a PLC networked. Once the reference page is set up, we will move to the application page to configure the path of the PanelView 5000 to download the project. It will save the most recent used paths or you can hit the browse, which will open up who's active to find the proper communications path. There are additional pages for security, languages, and device statistics. We don't need to make edits to those pages, so we will click apply and okay to finish our project creation. Next, we're going to move into navigating within the software. View Designer has five main areas you will work with. First, you have the Project Explorer, which contains default navigation, screens, and all the additional assets. Predefined screens can be edited, but we do not recommend changing the default functionality. I find it best to remove the navigation to the screen as opposed to modifying the screen itself. The next area is the Toolbox, which contains all the possible objects that could be added to a screen. The most used will be the common controls, but there are many more objects available. Buttons, general equipment, and signs all contain popular objects that are used when creating graphics. If you do not find the exact object you are looking for, you can import SVGs or scalable vector graphics to create new objects. Another major area is the property window, which contains your standard properties, animations, and events for each object. View Designer allows you to configure each property or add a binding. A binding can be a simple tag reference or a full expression to modify the property from the PLC. The property window is the key area to configure an object to look and do what you want it to do. The last two areas are the graphics and the graphics explorer. Graphics windows are where you can edit each screen and the Explorer shows all the objects on that selected screen. Also, keep in mind, starting with version 5, you can pull out the graphics tabs onto separate windows, which is convenient when working with multiple screens. The next thing we are going to review is the default navigation and creating a new screen. So by default, there's a banner created on the top of each screen that comes from the predefined banner screen. If you want to create your own navigation, you can click on the background of the screen, look at the properties, and uncheck the Show Default Banner box. This will allow you to make your own navigation without deleting the pre-built navigation. If you want to keep the default navigation, you can easily edit the screens shown by changing the options in the Project Explorer. You can add a shortcut to a screen or you can embed up to three levels of navigation by adding folders to the menu. Screens can be added by dragging and dropping or right-clicking on the screen. The navigation menu needs at least one shortcut to a screen. This is because the menu uses the home screen 
to determine what screen is launched when the PanelView 5000 is starting up the application. You can change the home screen by right-clicking on any screen shortcut and selecting Set as Home. When creating screens, you can choose if it will be a pop-up or full screen. This makes it easier to keep track of your pop-ups or faceplate screens when developing the graphics. To make a screen, you can copy and paste or right-click and select New Screen. We will rename Screen 1 to Main and then add a new screen called PDF. That will cover new project creation, project configuration, navigation, and how to create screens. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact your local ES&E account manager or automation specialist.